my dad was a tough guy if you know the wrestler is stone cold he is as masculine and tall as he i remember one of my classmates in in primary school commented on him that he looks like an action star and in addition to that my my mom's story is also when they were they were just lovers it's like a gay guys are ahead over heels on him he is very proud of himself you know he would look at my mom and like saying haha you're lucky to have me it's funny because my mom is actually pretty attractive too anyways he's the kind of guy who never showed weakness or emotion he never cried he was a man with few words and most of all he doesn't know how to control his anger he could just explode like a volcano when he is angry he would kick punch or beat my brothers i mean i got some some punishments too but it wasn't that harsh as them it was a horrible memory and one of the darkest chapter of my childhood so in here we can easily learn how keeping weaknesses and emotions within ourselves will lead to ultimate explosion so if we are hurt in pain or lonely find someone to talk to your close friend your family or anyone that you can trust they don't have to give you advice or feedback if uh, they don't feel like doing it but you know just ask them to listen to you spill it out show that you're hurt and cry that's the only way to feel better again we are only human we can get hurt too but we can get cured as well so only if we allow ourselves it's our choice god has given us a free will it's either you allow yourself to be miserable or allow yourself to recover and find a better journey my dad wasn't always horrible i got to feel his love and care i vividly remember the days where i used to sit beside him and watch wwf this is how i started watching wrestling at a young age i know uh, stone cold Undertaker, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, you name it, X-Pac, The Rock, John Cena, and so once I asked him why are they fighting, he simply answered, it's called wrestling. We have to see who will win. So like other things I remember about him is he would just buy me toys or anything I want when we go to a shop or he would take me with him to any function at work. I had a lot of good memories and bonding with him that didn't necessarily involve a lot of talking. If I like ask him a question, he will just give me one answer and that's it. Tribute to my dad in heaven. By the way, I love you. We all love you. So this is the reason why I always encourage my husband to talk play and spend time with our daughter probably because it was one of the happiest memories i had but in addition communication with our children is also crucial you know it will help them mature and understand life in our environment better when i was around 9 to 10 years old my parents marriage took its toll and finally ended it, it was so sad after a deep discussion with the presence of my parents family my mom decided it was final there is no a divorce in the philippines so it means my parents are still legally married in papers but they can physically separate it was a long process that involves counseling and long discussion with the dswd department of social welfare and development and uh, my parents family so in the philippines annulment or physical separation are the only options 
Annulment is a long process and it will only be granted if there is a proper reason with evidences and agreed by both parties. On the other hand, physical separation is is allowed temporarily and the couple may get back in the future when things go well. Watching my dad leave, I can say I felt sad and happy at the same time. Sad because I'm gonna be missing the special attention I get from him and happy because I don't have to witness my brother is getting beaten and my mom crying. So it was a moment where I'm so scared to show how I really feel, you know, deep inside I'm still hoping that my parents would reunite after some time. So in this case, my parents are separating because of my dad's violence and being too strict. Well, being strict is a good thing on a certain level. My mom cannot take it any longer. You know, I mean, she can't watch her children getting mentally and physically abused. She was once asked us if we still want our dad in the house because she said she can still tolerate my dad's character since uh, she loves him and and so on but you know she has to consider our feelings too well we all answered no i mean i could have said yes but i can't be allowing this horrible chap chapter of our lives to continue you know i i love my dad but i love my brothers too at that young age I had that feeling that my dad can can anyway survive without us. He's a strong guy, you know, why wouldn't he? That thought from a child, I don't even know where it came from. All I remember is that I had to grow up fast. Fast, because I have to stand for my brothers. All three of them are traumatized from the experience, so I feel like I had to be there as a foundation for them so that uh, they can heal. After the separation, everything went smoothly. It, you know, it's really hard to explain it to other people who didn't see the picture inside our house because it's emancipating. Less noise, less arguments, and less stress. It's one of the wonderful moments where I saw my mom and my brothers smile and laugh genuinely. I'm quite pleased. Um, by the way, just to clarify that I don't promote and I will never promote a broken home. It may appear to be a positive impact on my situation, but it doesn't mean that it applies to everyone. Each family is, is different and in most instances, a whole family is ideal and will always be, okay? Let's just put it that way. Anyways, after my dad left, I have to admit that I missed him every time I get bullied at school. Only after he left, when my, my confidence started to drop, I realized that his strong figure and his presence beside me was the foundation to my confidence. It, it was not a very nice scene, but I'm gonna tell you the story next time. I have a wonderful memory with my dad that I wanted to share. So after they separated, my dad left our province and he went to live in the city, which is um, five to six hours away from our place. One day there was a program at school, it's called Parents Day. So a group of parents on the right side and a group of students on the left facing the parents. Then the students will sing a song about how they, they are thankful and grateful for having their parents. And so after singing, students are allowed to go to their parents and give a flower or a corsage. Corsage is like a badge that we pin it to the left side of our parents' chest as a symbol of gratitude. So the idea of this program is to honor our parents. So I was expecting my mom to be there. Instead, I saw my dad. 
in a full combat suit. He was a police officer and during that time the civil war in the southern part of the Philippines was rampant and my dad was mostly assigned in the battlefield of Mindanao so seeing him in a combat suit wasn't something new but seeing him physically there just made me emotional I didn't see or spoke to him for about two to three years that moment was so special I can't even explain how happy I am I just stood there staring at him but deep inside I was like jumping in joy I, I really missed him then all of a sudden my self-confidence started to linger on me again so proud of myself for no reason it was uh, a great surprise you know, my classmates started singing in chorus and I was moving my mouth pretending like I'm singing but but my mind was in a different world you know it wasn't quite sure how to show my emotions or excitement simply because I wasn't used to it so after that it was time to pin the courses and I ran to him as quickly as I can I badly want to hug him but I didn't the province that I grew up in around that you know touchy like the other provinces in the Philippines so it's hard to explain but we don't usually show our affection like hugging or kiss on a cheek or we are we are a bit on the conservative side so I just pinned the corsage and just feeling his presence near me was enough to make me happy however I was surprised when he gave me a hug I feel like crying you know I, I felt so emotional so before I even cry I, I, I just pushed him away he must have thought that I didn't want him that's why I did it but I was just too embarrassed to cry I mean I didn't want I didn't want to show my emotions because you know I thought it's a sign of weakness although I regret pushing pushing him right away instantly after that like he just pat my back and gave me money before he left you know he doesn't know any other ways to show his love he must have thought okay by just like giving giving me money he must have thought that he's showing his love and after that again i watched him leave he looked back one more time before he left my loneliness started to cover my soul I just wanted to go home and just lock myself in my room. That was the first and the last time I saw my dad showing his emotion. It's pretty short and sweet, but for me, it's it's a remarkable memory that inspired me to, you know, encourage my husband to give more of it to our daughter. I want my daughter to be close and sweet, not just to me, but to her dad as well. I want it to be fair and equal. My mom approached her after he left. She was so happy for me that my, my dad came. She was always being grateful of every simple things in life anyway. Luckily, my mom has that aura that when she talks, when she smiles, it makes me feel like everything is gonna be okay everything is gonna be just fine you know she became my biggest supporter to overcome my complicated complicated emotions her transformation from a struggling and depressed mom into a happy positive and motivated person helped help me and my brothers face our lives with pride you know, I couldn't ask for more. Her courage to stand on her own and fight for her children is a truly remarkable. I guess I, I can credit my strong persona from her and uh, it benefited me through my journey in life. I have to say that. You see here, there's, there's beauty in every struggle. You know, I heard someone saying you have to break to get stronger 